hey guys welcome back to our channel we are so happy to have you here at the crockett way now this particular video comes by popular demand now for those of you who have seen my one to two minute preview video of my cheesy creamy delectable baked macaroni and cheese you've been waiting for this for quite some time well good news it is here now if you want to be the talk of your family your friends and your co-workers as the person who makes the best baked macaroni and cheese i would suggest that you continue to watch this video now i have many different macaroni and cheese recipes and this one by far is my favorite so if you love a creamy cheesy delicious mouth-watering macaroni and cheese baked macaroni and cheese that is I would suggest that you keep watching So let's talk about what you're gonna need for this amazing recipe. What you see here are a number of cheeses that I have assembled here. Now you can use the prepackaged cheeses as I have done, or you can use the block cheese. That is totally up to you. So what you will need first is half a pound of Monterey Jack cheese, half a pound of extra sharp cheddar cheese, half a pound of pepper jack cheese, half a pound of extra sharp cheddar cheese, and half a pound of Monterey Jack cheese. And let's not forget, half a pound of the Velveeta cheese. And basically what I did was I took a pound and cut it in half. The next item you will need for this recipe is one and a half pounds of elbow macaroni. And here I'm just using my local store brand and it works perfectly. Next you will need one tablespoon of paprika. Here I'm using smoked paprika. Now keep in mind, paprika has no flavor, but it gives the recipe that nice rich color that you see. You'll then need two tablespoons of flour and two tablespoons of chicken flavored bouillon, which you can alternate with chicken broth if you choose to. You will then need one and a half cups of whole milk, and one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. Now, some people like to use half and half instead of the whole milk or evaporated milk. It's totally up to you. Next, you will need two tablespoons of your choice of butter. Here, I'm using a salted butter. All right, so let's go ahead and get cooking. Now, first we're gonna bring eight cups of water to a boil, and at this point, we're gonna go ahead and add in that chicken-flavored bouillon, as well as the elbow macaroni. Now, the chicken bouillon will give the macaroni a nice, salty flavor, so you don't have to worry about adding salt at any other point during this recipe. And if you want, you don't have to use the bouillon. You can use chicken stock or chicken broth instead of water. You wanna let the macaroni cook until it's al dente. And that just simply means you wanna cook the macaroni about a little past halfway. So you don't want the macaroni to be too hard and you don't want it to be too soft because remember, you're gonna cook it in the oven so you don't want that mushy macaroni. So while the macaroni is boiling, we're gonna go ahead and prepare our roux. So you wanna take that two tablespoon of butter and you wanna put it on a medium heat until it's nicely melted. And you just see me here giving it a nice little stir because it was still pretty firm and cold. Next, you're gonna take those two tablespoons of flour and gradually add them into the pot with the butter. And you wanna use a whisk or a nice spoon to mix it nice and evenly. So you see here, you're gonna have those clumps and that's okay. And you wanna keep it nicely mixed. And after that, 
we're going to go ahead and gradually add in the milk. Now I just want to mention here, you want to be careful not to burn your butter. So be mindful of that. Now just like we gradually added in the flour, you want to gradually add in your milk. So here I'm adding the whole milk first. And there's really no rhyme or reason to it. I just felt like doing that. So it's totally up to you which milk you want to add in first. And as you can see, the consistency is starting to change. And you want to make sure that you're continuously stirring this roux while you're adding the milk because you don't want that flour to be clumpy in your roux. You want it to be nice and even. And I also want to mention you want to cook the flour about two to three minutes just to get rid of that raw flour taste because you don't want that in your macaroni and cheese. So here I've added all of the milks. I've added the whole milk and the whipping cream. Now we're going to go ahead and add in the paprika. And the reason why I'm adding the paprika now is because it's a lot easier to mix the paprika now before adding the cheese. Because let me tell you, you're going to need some serious elbow grease. Next, we're going to go ahead and add in the Velveeta. And I've cut the Velveeta in chunks just to allow the cheese to melt a lot evenly and easier. Um, if I were to stick the whole half um, pound of cheese in there, it would be a lot more difficult for me to stir. So just gradually add in the Velveeta cheese. Next, we're gonna go ahead and just make sure we give it a nice stir. And you can already see how the consistency is starting to change. Look at that beautiful color. Isn't that just grand? Now, some people use this consistency, but I like it to be a lot thicker. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in my cheeses. And here it looks like I am adding in the half a pound of Monterey Jack cheese first. And again, there's really no rhyme or reason as to which cheese I add in first. All right, and so as you can see, the consistency is starting to change. So I'm gonna add in more cheese. And I like for my macaroni and cheese recipe to be really, really thick and dense. And you can see here, it's starting to thicken up and I am still adding more cheese. The more, the merrier. And you can see the consistency is changing even more. So by this time, I have most of my shredded cheese that's gonna go in my roux in the pot already. And you can see how it's getting thicker and thicker. Now, some people may have a problem with their cheese being this thick and dense, but for this recipe, we love it. So I'm gonna add in the remainder of the cheeses and look at that, guys. Look at that. Some people also use this cheese as a dipping sauce um, for nachos. This is one way you can do it. So now we're gonna go ahead and grab the pan that I'm gonna use to bake the macaroni and cheese. And I'm just gonna grab some extra butter and just make sure that I butter the pan because the macaroni and cheese will stick to the pan. Now that we have the macaroni all done and drained, I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the pan first. And look at this cheesy goodness, y'all. Oh my God, look at that. And that's the consistency that we're going for with this recipe. You can see how thick and cheesy and creamy the cheese is. And look at that ooey gooey goodness, y'all. The pan that I'm using here is a nine by 13 pan. So it's perfect for this recipe. So now I'm gonna take those additional cheeses, that half a pound of extra sharp cheddar and half a pound of mozzarella, and I'm just gonna top it, you know, to make it nice and crunchy and crispy and golden brown on the top. And once this goes in the oven, those cheeses are going to melt. Oh, look at that, y'all. Let's just bask in that for a moment. Next, we're gonna go ahead and cover the top of the pan with a piece of aluminum. And we're gonna keep that covered in the oven for about 10 minutes, and then we'll take it out. You wanna cook the macaroni and cheese between 30 and 45 minutes, and that'll give it enough time to cook. So we'll be back, guys. Look 
look at the edges look all around look how that cheese just bubbles guys look at this golden goodness this is a easy recipe to make and it will make you the talk of the town y'all so let's go ahead and cut this baby open you can see how every inch of every noodle is covered in ooey gooey golden goodness can you just imagine sinking your teeth in this macaroni and cheese right now oh my god the taste of all the different cheeses is amazing look at that y'all so let's see what the husband and the son thinks about this recipe scrumptious somebody else wants some mm. too hot for you mama yeah. <laughs> delicious delicious yes you see that cheese Ooh. You want some? Yeah. Ooh. It is amazing. Amazing. All right, this Mr. Worldwide coming at you live about to try my mama macaroni. Mmm. My gosh. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Oh my gosh. I can't stop. You like it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. You gotta make this again, huh? So what do you want to tell the viewers who are probably want to gain inspiration from this? Y'all better cook this. It tastes so good. Yeah, I don't know anyone who wouldn't want to cook this, unless it's Sana, because he don't like macaroni. So, can you taste the different cheeses in it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it tastes different from last night. I'm glad you like it. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. I've been around the whole world, Mom, and I ain't never tasted macaroni this good. <laughs> <laughs> I am done with you. From the looks of those reactions, I think it's safe to say that we have another winner in the record books. And guess what? It's just in time for the holidays. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing to our channel and hit that notification bell so that you will always be notified whenever we upload a new video. Remember, we upload at least twice a week, so you want to make sure you don't miss out on these amazing recipes as well as our daily vlogs that we do. We want to thank you so much for watching and spending this time with us. I want to thank Redoes That for making these amazing The Crockett Way aprons for us. If you haven't done so, go check her out. I will leave her link in the description below. Take care guys. Love you. Bye.